Thank you, thank you. Hello, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Welcome. My name is Jesse Cox, and I am your host for the very first Coxies. This is an award show that honors all of you here tonight, the gaming community, devs, companies, the people we probably shouldn't be honoring. Thank you so, so much. It means the world to me and uh, everyone here on the team. Thank you. Thank you for coming. You look incredible tonight. You look so good. Anyway, this show is about honoring games and poking fun at games. And so that's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna have a good time. Let's get into this, shall we? Our first category this evening is about that one special thing in video games that makes you happy and makes you wanna keep playing. Of course, I'm talking about the pets. Be it dog, cat, pig, owl, bear, whatever. There's something out there for everyone to pet. And this year, our goodest boy is... And the winner is... His Majesty from Baldur's Gate 3. Patched, but... Never forgotten, then repatched, and now perfect. Whether it's the face of an actor, or the fur on a cat, or the design of a starship, this next award honors those who crafted all of them with their awesome use of polygons. This award is for the best use of polygons in 2023. And the coxie goes to Cammy's ass from Street Fighter VI. Uh, we looked online and apparently 2B's ass was 300,000 polygons. So Cammy's considerably higher and I'm gonna say better. It's the best use of polygons we had this year. It just was. This show, like many others we've had this year, is a live experience with an audience and it takes a lot to put those on. This award is to honor that commitment. This award is to honor the best, the best live show experience of 2023. And the Coxie goes to Larian Studios for the panel from hell from this past July 7th, where they got banned from TikTok for a bear having sex with a vampire. Huh? Apparently we were banned on TikTok uh, because of the bear scene. Uh <laughs> Our next award is for best mod of the year, in which we honor you, the modders of the gaming community, be it creating a better UI for us, or a cooler looking gun, or just a new scenario in a game that we love. You help make the games that we play so much better. And the Coxie goes to... Deceptuous for the Flaming Crotch Man Romance Mod, where you can romance me. That's right, it's as creepy as it sounds. Download it in the link below. 2023 was an incredible year for games, and of course, we're honoring that. But it also was a terrible year for game devs. And that's why this next award is for the biggest heel turn in gaming. It doesn't even matter, it's Unity. It's Unity, it was always Unity. We don't even need to like show you stuff. Yeah, there was a lot this year that was bad, a lot. But Unity was the worst. It's, ins it's insane that someone thought that that was the right thing to do and just scam money out of people. I don't know, man, who does that? Microtransactions were bad, F laying off and firing devs worse, but like nickel and diming indie devs? Get out of town. They're the worst. They're, look, that's it. That's the winner. There's the winner. <laughs> this year, 
was such a good year for remakes. Am I right? Am I right, everyone? It was incredible to see all the games we loved growing up brought back bigger and better than ever. And that's why the next category is Best Remake of 2023. And the coxie goes to Cyberpunk 2077 Phantom Liberty, a game that came out originally so many years ago during the pandemic and now has its remake updated. It looks better than ever. It's so much fun. I can't believe they pulled it off. Congratulations to CD Projekt. Thank you. Thank you so much. This year, we want to take the time to honor a man who changed the gaming world forever. And I didn't want to do this off the top of my head. I actually, I wrote down some thoughts and I'd like to share them with you tonight. <clears throat> we are an entire industry of underdogs, constantly facing trials and tribulations one after another. And I think it's important now more than ever to recognize the fallen. For it is those who are no longer with us whose spirits push us forward unto new horizons. Their hopes and dreams become ours, and we struggle on in their name and their memory. Welcome to this year's In Memoriam. Burn in hell, Bobby. <laughs> thank you, thank you so, thank you so much. This year has been considered by many to be the best year in gaming, and we here at the Coxies wanted to honor that with a little thing we put together. Please enjoy. For video game fans, 2023 has been an amazing year. 
I know that we have been eating good. So many amazing games have come out. Alas, sometimes games get delayed or there are problems or day one patches and we get updates from game devs about those. Sometimes the problems are worse than others and sometimes the response is even worse. This is the worst apology in gaming. There's nothing that's more difficult for me than disappointing the Xbox community. Um, I'm upset with myself. We underdelivered on that, and for that I apologize. And the winner is Lord of the Rings Gollum. Congratulations to Lord of the Rings Gollum for clinching an unexpected accolade tonight. The worst apology award for 2023 is an honor that is now uniquely yours. Apologies are meant to bridge gaps, yet this particular attempt, perhaps assisted by AI, took us on a surreal journey through language and syntax, missing the mark by a few Middle-earth miles. Despite its peculiarity, let's commend their audacious approach. In gaming, even apologies can carve their place in the lore. To the creators of Lord of the Rings, Gollum, this award celebrates your unconventional contribution, reminding us that even apologies can take unexpected forms in the gaming realm. Congratulations. Lord of the Rings Golem. <laughs> Video games take a lot of time to make, and sometimes a little more time than others. That's why this year we are proud to honor those that take just a little bit more time than needed to get it right with the Half-Life 3 award for the game with longest delay. And the coxie goes to Beyond Good and Evil 2, a game that's been in development since 2008, longer than the development cycle of Duke Nukem Forever, which says a lot. In 2020, its director left the game. In 2023, its creative director passed away, sadly. Where's this game? I don't know what's happening with it. We've heard nothing. Jade, where are you, where are you at? Let's, let's, take, let's take a photo or something. <sighs> that game's never coming out. Thank you, thank you so much, gamers. We put ourselves out there. A lot of the times through videos or streaming or hot takes on social media. That's why this award is for best gamer freak out. Graphics by ATI. ATI, my ass. What you say to me, you little shit? Oh, he's doing he's saying thing. pick someone else. He's letting pick someone else. Pick someone else. And the coxie goes to Starfield Pronouns Freakout Guy, congratulations. We'll be sending you your prize, the complete collection of monster proms so you can figure out what the hell pronouns are. Enjoy. Gaming has become so much more than just playing video games. Beyond sitting on your couch with a controller or at your desk with a mouse and keyboard, the world of gaming has expanded into movies and books and music and comics and so many other things. That's why this year we want to honor the best expanded universe in gaming. And the winner is... Once again, for the seventh year in a row, Overwatch porn! That's right, people love playing your game, Blizzard, but not for the reason you think. And here we are, ladies and gentlemen, for the Game of the Year Award. The award for the game that changed our lives, that inspired us to be better, that took hours of our day and <sighs> them away. This is the award for the game that changed everything we think about video games and made me so happy to be a gamer. This is your Game of the Year. And the winner of Game of the Year is Alan Wake 2, a game that has such artistic integrity and is so beautifully made. You can tell the team behind it just loved 
every second of putting it together. It's truly one of the greatest games I've ever played. I love everything about it. I cannot stress to you how much I love Remedy and the Remedyverse. It is such an incredible feat. If you haven't played it, you definitely should. It is by far my favorite game of the year. Thank you so much, Remedy, for making it. Honestly, it's one of the best things I've ever played. Truly cannot believe that in a year of great games, it is the one that stood out to me the most. An amazing, amazing win. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. As we come to the end of the show this year, I just wanted to thank all of you for watching, but more importantly, for watching long enough for me to throw these shameless plugs in your face. This next award is for Best Shameless Plug. And the winner is... Excuse me, sir, the newest game from myself, Erdorf, Molly Moon, Torpal Duke, and Trevor Henderson. You can play the demo right now over on itch.io. Just type in, excuse me, sir, it may still be on the front page. Wouldn't that be great? And that's it, thank you so, so much for coming out this year. Thank you to everyone for supporting this show and the incredible team that helps put it together. You can see we spent so much time to get this right. And it's because of you and your support that we were able to do so. So for myself and everyone here in the audience, to you at home. Thank you again and we'll see you next year for another Coxies.